For this circuit, which of the following is true? We're comparing the current in the three resistors. And we have R1 and R2 in parallel, and then together they are in series with R3. So the current comes out of the battery, split when it gets here, and then the current merges to go through R3. Therefore, I3 equals to I1 plus I2. So I3 must be the biggest. So the answer can only be either D or E. But we still need to compare the current in R1 and R2. R1 and R2, they are in parallel. So V equals to IR. These two, they are in parallel, so they have the same voltage. That means that the one with a larger resistance would get less current. R2 is larger, so R2 gets less current. So I2 is the smallest. The answer is D. By the way, for this question, I drew the battery or power supply like this like two batteries connected in series. It means the same thing as this, this, or this. Basically, I can draw however many pairs of long short lines. They all mean the same thing. The long side has a higher electric potential than the short side, and this V, or EMF, is the potential difference across this combination of ideal batteries or power supply. In this circuit, we have three light bulbs, A, B, and C and three switches, S1, S2, and S3, and initially all three switches are open. Closing which of the following will produce the largest voltage across bulb A? And closing which of the following will produce the largest current in bulb B? When all three switches are closed, these three segments will be in parallel, and then together they will be in series with bulb A. So the equivalent resistance of these three in parallel would be in series with bulb A. That means that together they have to share this total voltage. And we want the largest voltage across bulb A. That means we want the least voltage across uh, this part. Because uh, this combination and bulb A, they are in series. That means uh, they get the same current. So if we want this group to have less voltage, that means uh, we want the least resistance possible. And we know the more resistors we have connected in parallel, the smaller the equivalent. So we should close both S2 and S3. And of course, S1 also has to be closed, otherwise no bulb will get any voltage. However, there is no answer choice for S1, S2, and S3. But that's okay, because we happen to have no resistance at all over here when S3 is closed. Which means closing S3 shorts these two segments, making the equivalent resistance for this part zero, whether S2 is closed or not. Another way to look at this is closing S3 would have zero resistance over here, and since uh, these three segments are in parallel, they all get the same voltage. And the V equals to IR. For this segment, there is no resistance, therefore there is no voltage. So the other two segments have to get zero voltage also. And that means the zero volts will give bulb B zero current. And the bulb C, of course, also zero current, and that's whether S2 is closed or not. Which means in either of these circuits, the current comes down here, it does not split. All of the current will go through here because uh, there is no resistance over here. Same thing here. So this is like bulb A is the only light bulb in the circuit. And that means bulb A gets all the voltage the battery provides. Therefore, the answer is S1 and S3. Now we want the largest current in bulb B. Because the V equals to IR, the bulb B has a certain resistance. But to give the bulb B the largest current means bulb B needs the largest voltage. 
these three segments they are in parallel, so they all get the same voltage. In order for bulb B to get any current at all, S1 has to be closed. And this combination and bulb A, they are in series. If they are in series, that means uh, bulb A and this group, they must have the same current. If we want bulb B to get as much, as much voltage as possible, that means uh, we want this combination to get as large a resistance as possible. Because the more resistors we have in parallel, the smaller the equivalent. That means uh, if we want the equivalent to be as large as possible, we want as few resistors in parallel as possible. Therefore, we should leave S2 and S3 open. So S1 is the only one we should close. So the answer is uh, 